Guys, what's going on? It's Austin here. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I had just shot the Indochino custom suit review video. And in the video, I kind of explained that my pants were not properly fitted to the point of what I wanted. So this video is going to be a kind of follow up on that. Basically, how to find the right tailor and how to communicate with them so that you can make sure that you get your clothes tailored to exactly the way that you want them to fit. The first thing that I recommend doing is doing your research. Go on Google, look up some five star review places kind of in your area. Obviously you don't wanna to go too far, that's just annoying. But find someone that's kind of relatively in your area, ideally not just one person that shows up, but let's say you got two or three people, call around and get some quotes. Call around and get a kind of a feel and say, hey, can you do this, how much would it cost? And you kind of can look at based off the reviews and then how the customer service is before you decide, okay, I'm, I think I'm gonna go and try this one out. In this video, I've already contacted multiple tailors and I went to one yesterday and asked them if that's okay if we record this video and he said that's cool. So what we're gonna do next, I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna show you that exchange of how I explain exactly how I want my pants to be fitted so that hopefully if you're deciding that you wanna go and get something tailored, whether that's a suit, a shirt, jeans, etc., that you can go in there with confidence and understand how to communicate properly with your tailor. As a reminder, again, these pants, they're not fitting in the way that I want to. I got my no-show socks on, but basically what's wrong with these pants and how they are fitting, they have too low of a crotch, so I need them to bring that up. And then also you can see the circumference around my leg, in my opinion, is a little bit too baggy. The break is good, so you just wanna make sure, you know, and I'm not an expert by any means on how a suit should fit, but I Googled, watch YouTube videos explaining, you know, what's a, what's a full break, what's a half break, what's no break on the pant length, and just understanding what I want. So I found basically an image, which I'm gonna use this 100% later on to show the tailor exactly what I want. I have this exact picture, pretty much break meaning where the length is on the, where the shoes kind of stop, that's the break. That on my current pants is good. And that being said, as you can see, they're a little bit too baggy. Showing them this picture, visualize it. And then the last kind of tip, before you leave, try them on. Because you don't want to waste that whole trip. If you go out there, you think that they're good, you go back home, you try them on and they don't fit the way that you want, you're going to want to do that before you leave. Again, my four step process here is number one, do some research, figure out what tailor you're going to communicate with and contact in the first place. Number two, figure out what you want. So if you're doing jeans, Google, how a tailored pair of pants should fit or how a pair of pants should fit so you can tailor it to the way that you want. And then number three is just kind of visualize that. So bring in the visual, look at it, make sure you like it, bring that to the tailor. And then the last thing is again, make sure that before you leave to try on the garments and make sure it fits before you leave. Hopefully again, it'll be valuable and you'll see this whole process. So let's go to the tailor. So I literally just walked out of the changing room and the tailor Alex was like, yeah, these are basically going to have to be sent back to Indochino, unfortunately, because the rise is like so low. And what else were you saying? Yeah, so let's step up to the mirror over okay. here. Face the camera, exactly. Okay. So pretty much the rise is way too long in this case. Right. And we're looking at at least two, two and a half inches. Okay. The zipper shouldn't be more than I would say a five and a half or a six inch zipper if you're going with a trim cut. Mm -hmm. If it were a five and a half, let's just say right in between that, this is where you want your zipper line. Okay. So you see how long that is? Yeah. What will happen is some tailors, if they're not custom tailors, they're gonna go ahead and take in the crotch. Mm -hmm. By doing that, what you're essentially doing is pulling in the front oh, okay. zipper into the crotch and you're gonna get this pulling right in here. Mm. That's what you don't want. So let's, let's just... So the zipper has to be basically shortened Correct. So and you can't really do that with the tailor. No. So let's just say we rolled it up here. Okay. You see how much better it feels in the crotch? Right. So now what we're able to do is go ahead and clean this up, take okay. it in because your zipper is where it needs to be. Okay. So we folded your uh, waistband, which is an inch and a half. Mm -hmm. See that? And you're not gonna wear them up here. Right. Right, so by essentially wearing them on your hip, mm -hmm. too much fabric. Okay. So in this case, I would reach out to the manufacturer, let them know that you want the dress pants remade. Okay. 
because of the rise is too long. Okay. So you want to give them an accurate rise. Okay. In this case, again, I'll measure up the rise here and mm -hmm. we'll just reduce whatever we need. Okay. Because what happens is also the seat, the excess fabric, when your okay. rise is long, your seat, your glutes, mm -hmm. the bottom is right here. Okay. So in this case, the end of the crotch is yeah. a good couple inches down. So it doesn't so flatter. Some the people shape. will take it in, right? Mm -hmm. But then you have all of this. Yeah. And you can taper the leg, but again, the crotch is too long, and this is where you'll run into a problem where if you're trying to get into a car, you'll strip the seam. Sure. Okay. So, um, all right, this was not expected, but that's why we have professionals like you to kind of figure out Excellent. what the deal is. And unfortunately, I'll probably have to postpone this video in terms of completion, or maybe I'll, maybe I'll release this one, and then maybe I can show the final fit as we get the manufacturer to kind of redo what they did. So, thanks again to Alex. I just got back from the tailor. That did not go as expected. To recap what happened is right when I walked out of the dressing room with my pants on, the tailor was like, dude, those are, there's too much material. A tailor can only do too, so much to the point where, you know, it'll look good, but if there's too much material, they can't really do that. Like my zipper was too long. The measuring process that we did, he said how they how they asked for that measurement is too variable. I mean, we did the measurements, I did it with my brother, and we you know did it multiple times to make sure that we were doing it properly. So he recommends just call, calling them, figuring out you know, a way to ship the suit back and get them to redo it, because again, if we did it as is, it just wouldn't look good. So that's unfortunate, but I'll keep you guys in the loop with what Indochino gets back to me. And you know, this is a, this is a good point. Even though I am fashion forward and I understand, you know, proper fit, there are certain little details that I would never even have thought because, again, somebody who's like this guy, Alex, he's been around tailoring forever and he knows how to properly make a suit fit. So relying on experts definitely helps. I would have none, no idea. I even brought my suit coat, my jacket, and he was like, bro, do this, do this, do this. And I think that when this is all said and done, I'm gonna have a very, very well-fitted suit that I think to the naked eye, my suit would have been great, probably for the most part, if I would have just tailored my pants a little bit more. But now moving forward, I'm gonna be super confident because everything will be done in the best way possible. So keep you guys in the loop. I'll probably end this video here and then maybe do a follow-up video after that. So peace out.